the biggest hurdle and I think this whole movement has been with blood over intent is making people understand that they're not living on a fucking ball see that's the one they just can't seem to get the horse out of the gate on and uh I tried explaining it to you really simple. You cannot have gas pressure without a container. You cannot have ga gradient gas pressure without a container. I mean, I don't know how fucking stupid you really are. I, I just, I don't know. I mean, I can't understand how come you're so fucking stupid. Gas has got a pressure and volume. Feel free to use PV equals NRT. I take a box and I put some gas molecules on one side and there's a partition holding them in that side then I remove this partition and I wait a little bit then I know the gas fills up now take that's like perfume leaking out of the bottle hot and cold when mixed will never separate back into hot and cold a gas that genie that got out of the bottle won't go back this gas that came out won't go back there's a whole lot of processes which we call irreversible. They never seem to happen backwards. They only happen forwards. And we cannot list all of them. I will take this opportunity to list one second law of thermodynamics violation, which would be the notion that we have a sky vacuum. If the sky was a vacuum, the gas we breathe, which is at pressure, would fill the availability of volume it had to fill. Therefore, the sky is not an availability of volume for the gas to fill, because we'd all be dead. And it's also, I would like to add that the word atmosphere is a fucking oxymoron because the word atmo literally means air. So you're saying air sphere. Can you show me an air sphere without a container? Well, can ya? Punk? Really amazing that that is one law, a single law that not only is qualitative, but is quantitative, that tells you exactly when some things can happen and when some things cannot happen. And according to the one single law, all the things that we say don't happen, won't happen. Will be forbidden by the law, and that's the second law of thermodynamics. But what form does it take? Well, we will see. It introduces a certain quantity called entropy, about which, let's say, right now, we don't know anything. The law will simply say the entropy of the universe will always increase. You don't have to write it down. Yeah, because I haven't got a brain. Well, what would you do with a brain if you had one? Two. Well, what would you do with a brain if you had one? Two. Because I haven't got a brain. Well, what would you do with a brain if you had one? Two. Because I haven't got a brain. Well, what would you do with a brain if you had one? Do?